2011 1000 RR dead battery and the stock battery was four and a half pounds which is a relatively small battery for a sport bike usually you're looking at five six seven pounds so it had a small battery to start with but uh rather than going out to buy a new one for a hundred bucks or whatever I got a uh, life one this is a WPS came off of eBay 73 bucks 150 cold cranking amps so it claims 1.25 pounds and as you can see it, it really fits in that space really nice if you mount it on its side I tried to make my own with a one two three batteries and uh, it didn't work out I'm not sure why maybe I got fake cells but let's see how she does thing jumped down to 13 point something volts after it started and it recharged the battery in less than 60 seconds. Once this thing reaches like 14.4 it's pretty much full charge but for all intents and purposes it is pretty darn close to being full charge right now. I'm going to turn this off and uh, see if we can get a view of how it drops down after it starts and how fast it recharges but last time I watched a video where a guy did this and uh, the bike recharged the battery at about 8 amps initially and then it dropped off to about 5 amps and the closer it gets to 14.4 the lower it goes but it's pretty impressive how fast it refills the battery after it's, after it's been discharged. This will probably settle at about 13.28 once it's done but I'm not going to wait for that we'll see what it does. meter and see how much amps are really going in there. Looks like it'd be kind of tricky to get my clamp meter around that battery cable though. Yeah, I think I might be able to get in there. Yeah, that's pretty fast. got the clamp meter wedged in there it's set on DC 100 amps right now and uh, maybe we'll be able to catch a view of how much amp it's using to start the bike but I doubt that it's probably way over 100 amps but then I'll move it down to 2 amps and we can try to or uh, 20 amps and we'll see if we can see how much current's going back in the battery